Hey, this is Matt from Esquant. Today is Friday, February 25, 2022. Yesterday, the markets opened weak but closed strong. We opened down at the lows of the session, making new 50-day lows. But we ended up rallying all day long, trend-like activity, closing up near the highs of the day and closing higher than the prior day. So uh, we're going to look at this pattern where you make a new low but close strong. Let me go ahead and set this up and discover. I've got all four instruments selected. The setup will be based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Currently, we are trading lower in the overnight session. So I'm going to add that to this test by going to Gap Direction, and I'm going to click on Gap Down. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the Price Patterns Library and describe uh, the action from yesterday. So we opened down uh, below recent lows, and we made a 50-day low. So I'm going to grab that from the Active Today. We've got a huge list of things available in our Active Today section, which is telling us what is true for today. And if I scroll down, I can see day after lowest low of the past 50 days. So I'm going to grab that I, I just clicked on it and added it to the test the next thing I'm going to do is say we closed up near the highs so uh, location of the last close is right here I'm going to hit close in top 25% of daily range so I've got that selected next thing I'm going to do is go to the indicators library put us below a 10 and uh, 200 day simple moving average and then click view results And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when you gapped down and the prior day made a 50-day low but closed up near the highs of the session, but below a 10 and 200-day simple moving average. Historically, just 15 samples here in the S&P, and that's uh, data that's dating back to 2003. So, so it doesn't even take place more than once per year. If we look at the NASDAQ, just 16 samples, the Dow 12, the Russell 20. If we look at the win rates, they are a bit mixed. The S&P just a touch weak, 47%, the NASDAQ 56, the Dow 41, the Russell the weakest at 35%. And for the, the average moves, the average loss larger than the average win in the S&P. That is also true for the other instruments. So NASDAQ, Dow, and Russell all have larger average losses compared to their average wins. So historically speaking, the win rates haven't been um, super skewed in either direction. They are a touch weak as a group, and the bigger moves have um, come on the downside um, here historically. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.